fan base and good day. Today I'm here to show you my charms by request. Uh, it was not requested that I make a video, but it was requested that I show my charms. And I asked Elle if she wanted me to video chat her. She did not respond, so I guess I'm making a video. First, let's take a look at my button charms. I have a large anchor and a smaller anchor. I have this kind of brass. These are the single hole buttons. I'm not going to go too much through the um, two hole and four hole buttons. I have pearls. All my pearls are fake because I don't believe in real pearls because it harms the oysters. Let's see. Got this, which is like a brown. It's a dark brown. You can barely see it. And then there's this kind of shiny green, and then this, which is, I believe it's the only one of that specific color. I can't remember where I found it. I've also got these green ones. I've got this kind of flower looking thing. These are just various assorted shiny ones. More fake pearls, but champagne colored. Um, these ones are also just assorted, just assorted kind of buttons that don't really belong anywhere else. This one is brass with a little gem in it. Then you can see also my collection of jump rings. I actually prefer making chokers out of rubber now, rubber bands. And then these are my penguin charms. I got them in case the girls wanted me to make more penguin bracelets uh, at work. I gave them penguin bracelets for Christmas. And then these ones, I have one of each. They're like the fancy buttons. This next container is resin charms. And um, you will probably recognize some of this from the Nevermore Boutique stock that we have. We have these stars and moon ones. We have those which are moons. And I actually do have plenty more resin charms. It's just that um, these were the easiest ones. These will be the easiest ones to put on a jump ring. There's a bunch of different pentagram ones, which my father's a fundamentalist Christian. He would not be happy about this. I actually do not wear pentagram jewelry for religious reasons. Elle, I don't know if it would be conflict for you. I know that you're Jewish, but okay, here's the dripping pentagrams, and these are just the regular. This one looks the most like the bisexual um, colors that you would be going for. And here we've got gravestones. This says R.I.P. We've got corvid skulls here, little crow or raven skulls made out of resin which is awesome because i was going to order um resin uh or not resin i was going to order bronze ones but i don't have to now which is fantastic and these are pumpkins loki had initially asked that they were construction hats which made me laugh and then there's a selection of marijuana charms so there's the weed charms which would probably be pretty nah, i'm sorry they would probably be pretty popular here in California. Um, these which came with some kind of lopsided cross charms, but I was going to fill the plate part with crystals, crushed crystals, which I have. And then resin bottles, which this one I'm fond of. It's got a little flower preserved in it. I don't know if you can see. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got this metal bit here, which is quite lovely. It's like a guitar pick. And we've got our wax seals, which I was actually going to glue to one of the round resin charms. I thought that would be quite nice, actually. And a little memento with a token. Um, we have these round discs with large holes in them. You can see the colors there. 
Here we've got some long rectangular, large rectangular charms, some small square charms, some large square charms, and I'm actually quite fond of these multicolored glitter ones. She also sent me some bells, which these are not necessarily something I would use on their own. These are more something I would use if I was making a plushie. I'd put some bells in it for a small child, like a or like a cat or a baby, because both of those love um, jingly stuff. We've got some round oval charms, large round ovals, some little teardrop charms, some semicircle charms, and this one in the middle here has the bisexual pride colors as well. Some puzzle piece charms. There's a selection of little skull bits in here as well. Adorable, are you kidding me? Like, yes, I went through the stock when I first got it, but... Hmm. I also really like these little flowers. Yeah, so there's little flowers in there. There's some spikes I could probably do something with. Some small rectangular charms here. We have some small oval charms here. We have circle charms, large and small. Um, <laughs> um, these are so gorgeous. And here are my Ravenclaw Eagle charms. I have some medical charms. I have a skull charm. I have peace and yin yang charms. Here are my elephant charms. I have tree of life charms. I have owl charms. Here's a closer look at the owls. I have angel charms. That one says angels are watching over me, or angels watching over me. I have kitty cat charms, horse charms. Various heart charms, one of which is also a swan charm. I have some turtles, some butterflies, and I believe that's a bee or a dragonfly on the left. Some lock and key charms. And these ones will go with my green blue um, bracelets. There are, there's a mermaid, some seahorses. Seashells, a dolphin, and a peacock. Oh, there's two mermaids. And these here are my Hufflepuff badgers. They all look like that. My Gryffindor lions, which all look like that. And then these Slytherin charms, my snake charms, all of which are huge. Well, these ones are kind of small, but these would all look best on chokers, I believe. I have made some bracelets, but I think these would work best for chokers. I said I wouldn't go over my two and four eye buttons too much, but here's kind of what they look like. I will be using these before I start drilling holes in the resin. I spoke with her, she's also okay with that. And then here I've got a bunch of assorted crystals. Um, I'm actually going to take a quick screenshot there, um, and then here are just the rest of my various charms here. This one is actually from Spencer's Gift, so yeah, I'm not sure I could sell it. And then these are just, they're just various cute little, they wouldn't fit in the little organizers. Yep. So that's my collection of charms. So just let me know which ones are the most suitable for you. Uh, you can feel free to take a screenshot or just like, I don't know, <laughs> try to describe it to me. I actually prefer if you took a screenshot. And let me know what ones that you like that you want on your bracelets and uh, necklaces and such. I also have a very small sampling of bracelets that I've made, like... This is one of the mermaid bracelets. Uh, this is the one 
that I made them for the girls at the firm. And then this one's one of the bead bracelets, which Kim really likes the bead bracelets. So I might get more beads to make those. I made myself a cross necklace. That Slytherin bracelet you were admiring, I actually made that into a necklace now. And then I have this kind of necklace also. So, so I should be able to accommodate just about anything that you could want. Just let me know. And thank you for watching. And uh, thank you for putting up with my weird video format and my tummy. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Bye.